Hi guys, I'm so happy to say that I'm finally done with the 10 looks using the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. This one was so much fun to work with and I really hope that you guys enjoy all the looks that I came up with. And I really try to make sure that I did a little bit of something for everyone. You know, I did some simpler looks, some softer looks, some more complicated looks, some cut creases and so on. I really wanted to just do a little bit of everything because I know everyone has different skill levels. I mean, myself included, I'm not at all an expert, but I really do enjoy playing around with different techniques and just different placements of shadows and stuff like that and I just love having fun and sitting down and really focusing on one palette and seeing what that one palette is capable of doing so I think I should just get into the looks I don't want to keep you here for much longer so it's going to be a long video sit back and relax get a snack enjoy and I will see you right after all the 10 looks all right let's get into this so I am starting off look number one by priming my eyes with my MAC paint pot and soft ochre and I also am not going to set my primer because I prefer not doing that and I just find that the shadows perform a lot better and they turn up to be a lot more pigmented when I don't I do go ahead and set it in a few looks so but I will show you when I do and before we start I of course need a soda because soda is my life I have a problem I know and we're gonna start off this first look taking blue blood and I'm going to be putting that all over my crease and in this look we're going to be doing a halo eye so I'm just now building up the shadow to make sure it's as pigmented as I like for it to be and then I'm going to go in with the cease and I'm going to put that in the inner and the outer part of my eye creating the halo and I'm not going to be connecting the shadow in the middle because I find on my eye shape it's just a little bit more flattering when I do it this way since I do have hooded eyes. And then for the middle part of the halo, I'm going to go in with Cullinan, which is a beautiful kind of white shimmer. And I'm putting that right in the middle. I'm keeping it pretty focused though, because I don't want this to be a big halo eye. I just want it to be like right in the middle of my eye. So I'm also going back in with that shimmery shade to just go back over the edges to make sure that everything is looking nice and blended before we uh, move on. And this look is going to be super simple. So I'm next just taking blue blood again, which was the shadow that we put in the crease. And I'm putting this all over my lower lash line. And after I have placed the shadow down, I'm going in with a fluffier brush just to make sure that everything is looking nice and blended everywhere. For a bit of an unexpected pop in the inner corner, I'm going to go in with I Am Cold, which is a pastel blue. And I think this is beautiful. And I'm also putting a white retractable liner from NYX in my waterline. But I feel like we can do better and something is missing so I'm taking my mini liquid lipstick in Titanic that came from the Jeffree Star bundle. I have made a video on these lipsticks. I will link that in the corner for you if you want to check that out. And I really love that all of Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks are eye safe. It just makes them so much more versatile. I'm also going to go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm not going to be showing you this in all the looks, but here's my Bad Gal Bang mascara, which I'm going to use. And this is my all-time favorite mascara. I know I say this in every single video every time I put on mascara, but I can't get enough of this. I think it's amazing. And to finish off this look, I am taking Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Deceased. And I love using kind of cool tone mauve shades on my lips when I have blue eyeshadow on. I just really think it makes it pop. So that's going to sum up look number one, which was a pretty simple halo eye. I really like how this came out. I love wearing blue eyeshadows. I really think it makes my brown eyes pop. And so let's get into look number two now. And for look number two, we apparently also need a little bit of soda because like I said, I have a problem, but we're going to start off again taking blue blood. And for this, I'm going to be putting it in the first third or so of my crease. And this is something that I love to do. I'm then going to move into taking Blue Monday and I'm using a small brush for all of these looks. This is my Morphe E36. It's my absolute favorite for this kind of work. So I'm putting this in the rest of my crease as well as the outer corner. And I'm also making sure that the blend here is looking good because this is going to be the only shadow that I do have in my crease. I'm not really one to use transition shades a lot if you can't tell. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to take minty and I'm going to put that in the first third of my lower lash line and this is the kind of shadow that I really need something tacky to hang on to so I was having a really hard time to build a shadow up and next time I would absolutely go in with a little bit of eyeshadow primer before going in with this on my lower lash line just to make it show up a bit more. Then for my outer part of my lower lash line, or I should say the rest of my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Flourishing which is a beautiful tealy green blue shade. I think this shadow is so beautiful. And for this look, I'm actually going to do a cut crease. So I'm going to take my P. Louise primer and use that to do the cut crease with. So I'm just taking this on a small brush. This is my Morphe M421 brush, which is my favorite for cut creases. And I'm just lining my upper lash line and then looking up so that I get a transfer. And that's where I'm going to cut my crease. I do also go over it and cut it a little bit higher just because I do have hooded eyes, like I've said before. And to make it a little bit easier to get the transition right between the mats that I'm putting next to each other, I'm taking my finger and just tapping over the edges here uh, before I go in with Undertaker, which is a beautiful dark blue shadow. And I'm putting that on the outer corner. 
and this really helps to add a little bit more dimension to the look by deepening up the outer part. For the rest of my lid where I cut my crease, I'm going to go in with Cullinan. I do wish that this palette had another light shimmer so I wouldn't have to use the same one all the time, but I mean this is still beautiful. And before moving on, I'm just going to go in with a bit more of that dark blue to make sure that the blend is looking good on the outer corner. I'm then taking my Urban Decay liner in deep end and lining my waterline because that shadow on the lower lash line and this liner are just meant to be. And because I just want to be extra, I am taking one of the mini liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Jawbreaker. And I'm going to use this to line the first half of my upper lash line. And I'm going to make kind of an ombre wing. And for the outer part, I'm going to use my Better Than Sex liner by Too Faced. And I just got this liner. Haven't quite decided if I like it or not. I think I like it, but it's a bit of a learning curve. So if some of the wings in this video come out looking a little bit funky, that's why. I'm also taking a little bit more of that blue like lipstick and just making sure that the blend here is looking good. And then to put on some mascara, I'm doing it off camera because that is boring to watch every single time. And looks like we have a lipstick. Where did that come from? I have no idea. But this is Cupid by Lime Crime. So I'm going to put this on and you'll be seeing a lot of pink lipsticks in this video because I just like wearing blue eyeshadows with pink lipsticks. So this is going to sum up look number two. Let me know what you think. I like how this came out. I think it's very different. I don't think I've ever done an ombre liner before. So yeah, I think this was fun and definitely something that I would do again. If you are enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate it. if you could give me a like. That really helps me out a lot. So for look number three, I'm going to start off by baking under my eyes because I'm going to use some very dark shadows here. So first off, I'm taking Undertaker and I'm going to put that in my crease. And this is going to be a very, very dark, dramatic smoky eye. And I am so excited because I love doing smoky eyes, as you'll see in this video. So I actually didn't experience too much fallout here somehow. So that's good. And for the rest of my lid, I'm going to go in with Ocean Eyes. And this is a very interesting shadow. I thought for sure that this was going to give me so much fallout but I did decide to spray this and at first I was going to use a glitter glue but I couldn't find it so I wasn't able to do that so it still worked out really really well look at that like oh my god that shadow is just everything and it was so easy to work with like I said there wasn't much fallout so I was very impressed by that and if you didn't already know Coke Zero has come out with a orange vanilla flavor and it's amazing so you're welcome <laughs> Next, I'm going to go back in with Undertaker and I'm going to put that underneath my eye and I'm first placing the shadow down and I'm then going to go in with a bit of a fluffier brush and really buff this out and also make sure that the outer corner and the edges everywhere are looking nice and blended. And for the inner corner, we are not going to be using Cullinan because that's what everyone else is going to be doing and I don't like to follow what everyone else does. So I'm going to take Entitled and I'm going to put that right in the inner corner and I love how this turned out. But I am going to go in with Cullinan because I just need to lighten this up a little bit. So I'm just putting that right in the inner corner just to make it pop a little bit extra. And quickly off camera, I'm going to put on some black liner and mascara. And that will be the complete eye look. And for lips, I'm going to use Titanic by Jeffree Star. And I love how this turned out. I think this is like so grungy and so outer space kind of looking alien vibes. I don't know, but I really like how this turned out and this might actually be my favorite look. I don't know. I think the last look is going to be my favorite, but it is close. For look number four, I wanted to do a bit of a softer look because I did get some requests to do that. So I'm first going to start by just setting my primer using Wealthy. And then I am first going to go in with Untouchable and use that as my transition shade. And this is just a very, very pastel -y pink. And as you can see, it doesn't really show up a whole ton, even though I tried to build it up. But it's just going to make the blend a little bit easier between this one and the next shade that I'm putting on. And the next shade that I'm going to go into is going to be Blue Monday, which really should be called Purple Monday. Because honestly, it's showing up a lot more purple every time I use it than blue. So I'm just placing this in the outer corner as well as pulling it through my crease. And as you can see, I'm building this up quite slowly because like I said, I do want this to be a bit of a softer look so I'm not going in with a bunch of shadow at once. I'm also going to take the same shadow and pull this down onto my lower lash line and this is going to be a super simple look that pretty much everyone can do in a very short amount of time. So next up I'm just going to go back into that pastel -y pink shade and I'm going to use that to sort of blend out the shadow that I put on the lower lash line. Again just to make sure that everything is looking nice and blended and soft. For my lid shade, I'm going to take Crystal Flesh and I'm going to spray that with some Fix Plus just to make sure that this is nice and vibrant and as opaque as I can get it. And I'm basically just placing it all over my lid, kind of stopping two thirds of the way out. I'm then switching to a smaller brush and putting this in my inner corner as well as the first part of my lower lash line. And just to finish up and make sure that everything is looking the way I want it, I'm going back in with Blue Monday and I'm just placing this in the outer corner, just making sure that the blend between the matte and the shimmer is looking good. I'm also going to pop a little bit of Cullinan in my inner corner and I feel like I do this in every single look, but the shadow is just perfect for this and I can't help myself. 
And in my waterline this time, I'm going to take the NYX Faux White and Lavender Blush. And I love these liners so much, I really want to get more of them. Liner and mascara later, this is what we are looking like. And for lipstick, I am going to take Oprah's Vermilion. And this is a beautiful red. I love this, especially with my hair color. I feel like it matches so well. And this is going to be the end of one of my softer looks. I also have another one coming, so stay tuned for that if that is something that you enjoy. So here are the close-ups. I actually really like how this turned out. It's not really something that I would usually go for, but I still think it turned out really pretty. Next up for look number five, this is probably going to be one of the more intricate looks that I have in this video. And of course we need more soda because I have a problem. And to start off, I'm going to take Power, which is the gray shadow. And I kind of wish that I was using a different eyeshadow primer for this because the MAC Paint Pot has a bit of a yellow undertone. So it doesn't look all that great with the gray on top, but hey, what can you do? So now that I've put this all through my crease, I'm actually going to go ahead and take Jawbreaker again, and I'm going to use that to make the tip of my wing. As you can see, I have very hooded eyes, so I am making the line above the hood of my eye and then connecting it to the lid above where my hood is. I know this technique is very confusing, especially if you don't have hooded eyes, but just bear with me. So I'm now going to just fill in the rest of the tip of the wing and also sort of bring it down to my lid and connect it and make sure that this wing is looking as opaque as I'm able to get it. I did have to layer up the lipstick quite a bit. I'm then taking my P. Louise base and I'm going to do a bit of a cut crease. I'm basically just going to cut out the rest of my lid and meet it up where the beginning of my wing is. And it's totally okay if this doesn't look perfect the first time you do it or even the 41st time you do it because this thing takes practice and you can always go back and fix it after you're done cutting the crease. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to dip into Blue Blood, which is basically the same shade as the liner. And I also made sure to tap out the creases that I had on my lid before going in. Especially if you're going to go in over a cut crease with a matte shade, you really want to make sure that you have a smooth surface to work on. And so I'm putting the shadow like over where I put the lipstick, as well as bringing it about halfway across my lid. And then for the rest of my lid, I'm going to go in with Mint Tea. And basically just going to put that on the rest of my lid, meeting it up with the blue that we put down. And I had to build this up quite a bit, but as you can see here, it's layering a lot better on top of a wet concealer or a wet base than it did earlier when I tried to put it on my lower lash line. I'm then going to go back in with the gray shadow. And honestly, if I could do this over again, I would have brought this down to my lower lash line as well as kind of connecting it and rounding out the outer corners just so that everything would have been connected. But can't really go back and do that now, but now I know for next time. So I'm also going to go ahead and take a bit of a bigger fluffy brush and I'm just going to run that above really everything that's in my crease that has gray on it. Just to make sure that everything's looking blended. I do however feel like something is missing still and the thing that is missing is glitter because we all love glitter. So I'm taking the Lime Crime Glitter in Tearful and I'm going to use that to line the first half of my crease or so with. And I also find that this really helps in cut creases to make sure that the line between the shadows where I cut my crease are looking nice and clean. And I also decided to take this down to my lower lash line a tiny bit as well as my inner corner. And usually I try to come up with some kind of a cool transition when I put on liner and mascara, but I totally forgot this time. So for lipstick, we're gonna be using a Kat Von D lipstick because I cannot help myself. I love using those brands in the same look because I just think it's really funny. And this is in the shade Lovesick, and I got this in a BoxyCharm a while back, and it's one of my favorites now. And that is going to complete look number five. So we are now halfway in this video, and if you are enjoying the ride so far and you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post a lot of looks and I do a lot of different things, so I think you would really enjoy it and I would really appreciate it. So for this next look, we are first going to dip into Untouchable, which again is this pastel pink, and I'm going to put that in the first third of my crease. We're going to be doing a three-colored crease, which is one of my favorite things to do. And for the second shade that I'm going to put in the middle of my crease, I'm going to use Blue Monday, because I feel like pink and purple just, it makes sense to put them next to each other, you know? So I'm placing this in the middle of my eye, still using my Morphe E36 brush, because I can't stop using it. And for the outer part, I'm going to go in with Flourishing because I love the combination of having a teal with a purple. I think they look so good together. So I'm just connecting that with a purple now in my crease and also connecting it to the outer corner, bringing it down to my lower lash line. And then to deepen up the outer corners a bit, I'm going to use Cremated, which is kind of a dark teal shade. And I find this to go so well with Flourishing. They are meant to be together. So I'm just placing this in my outer corner now as well as making sure that the blend in my crease is looking nice. And to make this look cohesive, I'm going to do the same thing on the lower lash line that I did in my crease. So I'm going to take the purple shadow and put that in the middle. 
And when I'm done with that, I'm going to take my P. Louise base and we're going to be doing another half cut crease. I know I do cut creases a lot, but I really think that this palette kind of needs cut creases a lot of the time. It's just a kind of palette that's meant to do that with. I feel like this is very much an Instagram kind of look palette. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just how I feel. So we're doing a half cut crease again. And on the outer part of my cut crease, I'm going to use Deceased. And I'm using that to connect with that outer corner shadow that we have. And these are blending into each other beautifully. And I'm pulling this about halfway across my lid or so before going in with Cullinan. And I'm going to take Cullinan and put that all over the rest of my lid. And I'm taking this pretty slow because I want to make sure that I'm precise with this. And when I get to where the two colors meet, I gently tap over and blend them in together. And I'm also pulling it down to my lower lash line and wrapping it around like I always do. And I'm then going to go back in with Deceased just to make sure that the blend is looking good and there's going to be a lot of back and forth and blending in every single look that I do because sometimes you just need to go back and forth and layer a little bit. So I'm also taking that dark green and layering that on top of the blue. And for eyeliner, this is actually a new discovery of mine. This is by LA Girl and this is in the shade Electric. This was my first time using it and I already love these liners so much. Then we're going to put on some liner and mascara as always because why would you want to not do that? And uh, of course we need more soda before putting on lipstick. And in this look, I'm going to use Ice Tray, obviously by Jeffree Star. Like I said before, I have made a video on these if you want to check that out, but I'm not really one that usually wears blue lipsticks, but I think this looks really cool. And I honestly have really been enjoying playing with these. And so maybe I will become a blue lipstick person, who knows? But that will sum up look number six. So let's move on to the next look. And in this look is going to be a bit of a easier look, if you will. So I'm going to start off by taking Priceless and I'm trying to put that in my inner corner. But as you can see, that did not really turn out to being much. So I'm going to go over with another shade again after. So I kind of gave up on this. And for the rest of my lid, I'm going to mix Flourishing with Mint Tea because I want to create more of a lighter teal shade. So I'm just dipping my brush into both shadows before I put it onto my eye. So that's, you know, it's pretty easy. But a lot of people ask me how I do mix shadows. So when I'm done putting this in my crease, I'm also going to bring it down to my lower lash line as well as sort of winging it out a little bit, but that is optional. And then for the lid, I'm going to go in with Entitled, which is the teal shimmer, and I love this. And I'm using a bit of a fluffier packing brush to do this with so that I can blend it into my crease and make it look seamless. And on top, just to lighten this up a little bit, just like I did in my crease, I'm going to take Cullinan, but I didn't spray this at all, and I'm tapping off my brush every time, and I'm just gently layering this on top. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to take Crystal Flesh since that first shadow I put down did not really work. And I am also spraying this to make sure that it pops. And I feel like the shadow looked a lot better in the inner corner. For my waterline, I'm going to... Ow! Don't do what I do because that was stupid. But this is the Urban Decay Liner in Abyss, which is a dark blue. So I'm just placing that in my waterline. And then I'm also going to line my upper lash line with my Urban Decay Better Than Sex Mascara as well as put on some mascara. And on my lower lashes, I'm going to take my blue BFF mascara and pop that on there. And three, two, one. There we go. So that is going to be the eye look all complete. Very simple. And for lipstick, I'm going to use a chocolate brown. This is by Pinky Rose Cosmetics and it's actually called Chocolate Love. And unfortunately, this one is not available anymore, or at least I couldn't find it on their website. So, so sorry about that. But everything else that I wear in every look is going to be listed down below in the description box if you want to check that out. Moving into look number eight, guess what we are doing? We are doing another blue look. Woohoo! Who would have thought? So I'm going to first start off by taking blue blood and I'm going to put that in the first half of my crease. Guess which brush I'm using? The Morphe E36. And for the outer part of my crease, I'm going to go in with flourishing and I'm going to, like I said, put that in the outer part of my crease. And I'm also going to connect it to my lid and gently wing this out to create a bit of a different eye shape. And this is something that is going to be a lot easier if you don't do your base first because you can clean up the lines, but I didn't do that, so I'm taking a bit of concealer because I did screw up on the other side and I'm using the concealer to just clean up the lines a bit and make sure that they are looking nice and sharp. And I also put a bit of powder on top of that just to really make sure that it didn't show up after I was done. And then I'm also going to reverse what I did in my crease on my lower lash line. So for the inner part, I'm going to start by taking flourishing and put that down. And then on the outer part, I'm going to go in with blue blood just to create a bit of a different effect. And we're not going to be doing a cut crease in this look, so I'm just going to take Entitled. And I'm basically just going to be placing this all over the outer part of my lid, as well as blend it into my crease. And then on the inner part of my lid, I'm going to use Ice Tray, which I think is the first time I've used this shadow so far. Which is kind of crazy, because I love this shadow, and I don't know why I haven't used it more. And 
as usual for my inner corner I'm gonna go in with Cullinan because I really feel like there aren't that many shadows in this palette that can be used as inner corner shadows unless you want to use a matte so this is what we're doing and for this look I'm gonna use another LA girl liner this is in the shade fresh I promise I did not poke myself in the eye this time so I'm just placing this in my waterline now and I love this turquoise liner so much and I think I want to do something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Drug Lord and I'm going to use a nail art tool. I will link this down in the description box if you want to buy one, but I got mine on Amazon. And I'm using this to make two little dots just above my crease on the outer part of my eye. And because it's so repetitive, I'm just going to go put on some liner and mascara off camera. And then on my lower lashes, I decided to go in with my Kiss and Teal mascara by ColourPop. And then for lipstick, I'm going to take Too Faced's Queen Bee, and I love this. I think this looks really good with any kind of blue eyeshadow look. So this is what I decided on for this look, and that will sum up look number eight. And if you have made it this far in the video, thank you so much. And if you are liking this so far, please comment with a blue heart so I can thank you personally for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Now let's move into the easiest look of them all before we finish off with a bang. So I'm going to start off by taking Minty, and I'm going to place that in my inner corner. And I'm probably going to sound like a broken record to a lot of you, but every time I use a matte in my inner corner, I like to go in with a matte first because it is a lot easier to layer a shimmer on top of a matte than it is to layer a matte on top of a shimmer. So this is just to ensure that the shadow is able to take up as much room as I want it to before I go in with the other shadows afterwards. And for my crease as a bit of a transition shade, I'm going to take Celebrity Skin, even though this shadow did not really show up as much on me as I expected it to, but that's okay because this is going to be a very soft look. And I'm also going to take this shadow down onto my lower lash line again, even though it didn't really show up, but I just felt like I needed to have a bit of shadow down there. On my lid, I'm going to use Crystal Flesh, and this time I did spray it to make sure that it's looking nice and opaque and foiled. And I'm just packing this all over as well as sort of blending it into my crease and making sure that everything is looking nice and smooth. I don't want any harsh lines. And I was lying when I said this was going to be easy because that is it for shadows. So again, for my waterline, I'm going to take my Urban Decay liner in Abyss because I just I love this liner so much. And I'm also going to go off camera, put on liner and mascara. But I still didn't put on mascara on my lower lash line because I wanted to use my Blue BFF mascara by ColourPop because I just find this goes really well with that liner. And for lipstick, I'm going to use Scandal by Jeffree Star. This was from his Alien collection. And again, I'm using a cool tone pink lipstick because clearly it's the only thing I like to do with blue eyeshadow looks. So that is going to sum up look number nine. And here are the close-ups. Like I said, this was a super simple look. Not something that I would really ever wear. But like I said, I try to make sure that I do something for everyone in these videos. And it is now time for the last look. I can't believe we got this far. So I'm first going to start off by setting my primer by using Wealthy. I know I've done this before, but this is the perfect shadow to do this with. Next up for my crease, I'm going to use I'm Cold. And I'm putting this all over my crease as well as winging it out slightly. But the shape of this and the depth of this is not that important because I want the crease to be pretty soft. I am, however, going to go in and deepen this up just a tad bit with Blue Blood. Like I said, I don't want this crease to be like super pigmented, which is one of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and set my primer in the first place. And it also does make the shadows a lot easier to blend, and they do seem to layer okay when you do set your primer. But like I said, they're just not as pigmented as they would be if you didn't. And then because I did say this look was going to be very simple, I'm going to take Cullinan and I'm taking that on a bit of a fluffy kind of smudging brush and I'm placing this all over my lid and blending it into my crease. And then we are going to be using a lot of liquid lipsticks on this look because it is time to do some dots and I love this technique so much. And I'm of course going to use my nail dotting tool and I'm first taking Titanic and I am placing small little dots all over my crease. You don't have to be very exact with this because it's very hard to mess up. I'm then taking an ice tray and I'm doing the exact same thing. So we're just going to be repeating the process with all of these lipsticks until we are satisfied with how it looks. And the next one I'm going to use is Jawbreaker. And again, just dotting along. And like I said, you really can't mess this up. Just keep dotting and it'll all work out in the end. And for the last dots, we're going to use the white one, which is called Drug Lord. And we're just going to be, again, placing these all over because that is what we do when we dot. And this just turned out so fun. I, I just love dots so much. And to spice it up a little bit on the lower lash line, I'm going to spray Entitled and just place this all over. And I've really been enjoying lately putting shimmers on my lower lash line, especially a teal like this. And then, of course, I'm going to put Cullinan in my inner corner again because it just needs to be there. You know, I didn't want to pull in anything else from other palettes because I want you guys to be able to recreate these looks if you really want to. As I say that, I am putting a bunch of liquid lipsticks on my eyes. I'm sorry about that, but I just had to because it's so fun. 
And I also put on some liner and mascara off camera and I also decided to go in with my Urban Decay liner in Deep End and I totally forgot to tell you. And for lipstick, I'm going to use Sagittarius by Jeffree Star. I love this lipstick so much. I feel like it's so underrated. I feel like I never see anyone wearing it. But that is going to sum up the last look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if any of you ever decide to recreate any of these, please do tag me on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle on the screen for you so you know where to find me. So that is going to be the end of these looks. All right, guys, that was a long ride. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all of my looks. I had so much fun making this video and I'm sure you can tell in the video that I really do enjoy these, you know? Yes, they're a lot of work, but they're also so rewarding. And I feel like I just challenge myself so much when I do these videos because, you know, it's hard to sit down and do 10 looks back to back to back to back with one palette. I mean, I probably did these looks in like four days, maybe like three and a half, but I did a lot of looks in a very short period of time. So it's really fun and challenging for me to do these and I'm definitely going to keep doing these kind of videos because I have so much fun with them. Did I just say I had so much fun making this video? You know, I actually did have so much fun making this video. So I think that is going to sum it up. Let me know down below which look was your favorite. If you can still remember, I would love to know. And until next time, I guess that will be it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.